guys happy thursday i'm so excited the week's almost over again do you know why we are not eating anything unhealthy let's say or whatever during the week we can only have snack have like fast food and chocolate and sweets and stuff like that on the weekend so i cannot wait for the weekend this week because i really want pizza i'm craving some pizza Anyways, some of you have asked me how the adoption ad how the adoption process is going. I wanted to give you an update. So what we're waiting for now is for a letter to come in the mail. I just checked the mail um, downstairs in the hopes that I would find this letter, but no, nope, not yet. Well, we're waiting for this letter or for an email or something from the social worker here from this town where we live now because she has to come in and see our apartment before we get the approval um, because we moved uh, I think three weeks ago almost a month ago they have to check if this apartment also is suited for having children and so that has to happen when that has happened and she is uh, she's seen our apartment she has to write um, kind of her impressions and, and, you know, her opinion to Youth Welfare Services and they will use that to make the final decision, which they have made already. They just have, they just have to write that final letter of approval and then we have to go online again and see the list of documents that Brazil asked from, from us and we have to make sure we have all those documents a lot of them we already have some of them we will have to get um, again for like the second or third time already because they cannot be old documents you know for example a doctor's um, opinion on our health and everything a doctor's checkup uh, that has to be up to date and then some other things i don't know now everything by heart but we will have to f make sure we have all those documents when we do we have to translate all of them to portuguese that has to be obviously translated professionally and um it will probably take a while too until all, all of them are are translated and then that is our dossier and then we have to, to send our dossier to Brazil. And in Brazil, everything will be studied again and checked again. And then they will decide there if we can adopt from Brazil. Whew. So as you can see, there's still a kind of a long road to go, a long road ahead of us. Um, an even longer road is behind us. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this won't take much longer um and but that's it it's not it at this point is not um there's not much that we can do we just have to wait for this letter and then um get all the documents have them translated sent to brazil and wait a little more so that's it for now um wanted to share with you something that has recently been happening to me I know a lot of you are very familiar with the feeling of um, being jealous of other pregnant women. You know, when we were trying to conceive and it never happened, I was, I don't know if it's jealousy. I think it's a, it was a little bit of jealousy. And it was also like, I wanted to be happy for other people from for for my friends who were getting pregnant and having babies but it just wasn't possible <laughs> to me it was like i don't know it was hurt it was i was hurting and 
lately I've been feeling like this with the adoption too. You know, I, I watched... I watch uh, many channels that talk about adoption, other families that have adopted. And for some of them, or most of them, it just seems like the adoption process goes so much quicker than ours. We've been in this process for five years, as you know. And I compare, you know, some of the, I compared to some of the other people, families who tell their stories and they say oh in 2012 or whatever or 2000 and yeah 2012 we began the process and then and now would they have i don't know three adopted children or more or or less or whatever but still it's like and we have none and ah i don't want to feel this i don't want to feel this way i know it's ugly i know it's not good i know it doesn't help me in any way but it's just the way I feel. I feel jealous of the other couples who have been able to adopt quicker than than us. And and I feel like, I don't know, I just, I am, we are tired of this process. I, I, I know you know that. I've, we've talked about that in other videos too. And we are, we still have some energy left. We still have hope. And we're going forward with the process, but it's been hard. It, I'm not going to lie. It's been kind of hard to us. Uh, but hopefully it will, we won't. It, I, I say, although I say this, you know, hopefully it won't take much longer and soon we'll have children too. When I say that, I don't believe it myself. You know, it's like I'm preventing myself from believing it because it's too because I've I've been hoping for this for so long and for nine years now we've tried to have a family and to have children and um it nine years is a long time and to want something and not and not get it. So you start believing you start believing that maybe it won't happen or it's hard to believe that it could happen fast, you know, but that's today. So today is, is that I'm, I've been just cleaning the house and running some errands and stuff that you don't really care to see. So I'm not filming anything else. I just wanted to tell you this little update on our adoption process. I wanted to thank you for asking. Thank you for thinking of us, for praying for us, praying for our children wherever they are, um, that they are okay, and yeah, I think that's that for today, I will see you tomorrow.